Okay, so uh, this is Ryan Morini with the Sam Proctor Oral History Program. Today is May 6th, 2019. I'm sitting here with uh, Sherry Sarah Dupree uh, and my colleague Deborah Hendricks filming. And uh, we're here speaking with, if you'd like to introduce yourself. I can't hear you. You got told. I don't, I don't have one. Put my head in. There. Yes. Huh? Uh, uh, well, that might help, but. Um, you Could you just say your name for the camera? Nathaniel Turner. Okay, thank mm -hmm. you. Can we ask when and where you were born? I was born in Jonesville. Jonesville? Yeah, Jonesville. In 1929. December 19, 1929. Okay. In Jonesville. Um, and I don't know if you wanted to jump in with the questions. or the Yeah, so if you were born in 1929 in Jonesville, that was... Uh, were, are you familiar with the Dudley farm? Yeah, I knew the Dudley, Ralph Dudley and Frank Dudley. Uh-huh. And I used to pick up pecans for one of his sisters. Okay. Her name was Mabel Dudley. Mabel Dudley. Yeah, but uh -huh. all the deceased now, you know. Yes. Yeah. Uh, who were some of the African Americans that were out in, the, in that area? After you were eight or ten years old, who did you play with? Uh, who did you have association with? I played with my brother. And my, we wasn't, see, my daddy died when I was like three years old. I see. And my mother was kind of tight. She didn't, we, we had a farm and we had a little, I think we had one mule and five horses. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. Mm -hmm. And we wasn't allowed to go with so far. And my aunt lived in Nebo. We mm -hmm. could. We could go there, but we had to ride a horse, you know. About it. I had a, I had a like a settling pony, but he didn't. They didn't work him. I just ride him, go to the mailbox, mm -hmm. ride him in Newberry, and take a corn, you know, shell corn. Yes. And I was too small to put the corn on the horse, but they put some in a sack on here and some here, and then they tie a string between it and throw it across the horse shoulder, and then they put me on the horse, and I would go to Newberry. And I got to Newberry, they had a grits mill. You know, mm -hmm. you know the grits mm -hmm. mill? Yes, sir. Farmworth owned the grits mill. His son worked there with Jay Farmworth. Mm -hmm. And I would get off and go in there and say, Jay, I got some corn. And he, he was about, Jay was about 14, 15, maybe a little older or less, but he's a big boy. he will come off and take the mill, the sack off the horse with the corn mm -hmm. in it. And he would put in that grits mill and make meal. Mama said, meal here, grits here. Then the pay, when he grind, he would take a big scoop out of our stuff and put it in that barrel, he's going to sell that. And then he'd tie it back up and throw it on the back across the horse. And I'd go and catch the horse like this, and he'd take my feet and throw me on across the horse. I said, man, don't throw me on, you know. <laughs> but he was, he was good. He was, he, was, uh, he was white, but he just, he mangled with the black people. You know, uh -huh, like, yeah. uh -huh. And I would come on back, mama said, stay on that side of the road. And don't run that horse to death, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I would make him lope some, and then I would make him let, let him walk. Yes, And yeah. I'd come back home, so uh -huh. we always like So that. you had two things. You had grits on there. Grits and, and meal. meal. I had grits on this side, meal, but it was strained tied between the yes. sacks, so it would be separated. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so Mama would buy a lot of chickens, come down to Union Street, mm -hmm. and they had them little bitties in a little cage, and she would say, Give me five of them bitches, just like that. Cause now her money was, she'd buy them, and we had a lot of chicken. Uh -huh. And she used to sell eggs also, you know. I remember I, we had a lot of chickens, and I, I found a hen nest, and the guy, she would sell the eggs to was named Underwood. Mm -hmm. He was on the corner where, I don't know what the name of that street, but you go, to, you go down Newberry Road, just down Newberry Road, till you get to, it's a blanking light. You turn left, go to Archer, or turn right and come around to Alachaway Road, you know. Is that uh, 170, Highway 170? Who's that? Road 170? I don't know the numbers of the uh -huh. road, no. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. it, you go down past... That's what it is, 170. It's 170. I'm with you. you. Can, it's, it's a light there. You can make a left and That's go, or right. you can make a right and That's come right. by our place. Mm -hmm. So I found the hen nest, and I, I don't know how many eggs. It's about 10 or 15 eggs. So I got them up and went and sold them. So, and I sold them to the same store my mama. So, and the same day was on a Wednesday. I never forget it. My mama came by there 
going to sell some eggs and Underwood told us, I don't need no eggs, your boy done sold me all I want. <laughs> so, so they came back and we're talking about a time, it was a time. I can't imagine. Now wasn't the school on that same road? Yeah, the school got burned up. The school got burned down. Yeah, the red school. That's right. That's right. It mm -hmm. got burned down. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Did you attend that school? I think I went there about a little over a year, maybe two years, and uh -huh. I was small when that got yes. burned up. But my brother went there, and uh -huh. my sister went there. I see. But they all have ceased, you know. Yes, yeah, yes, yes. There. And there's a lot of people, the Ross, you probably heard of the Ross, oh, yes, uh -huh. they went there too. A yeah. lot of people went there. McCray, they the went McCrae's, there. The uh McCray's, -huh. uh-huh. How about the camps? The camp, Reverend uh -huh. Camp, Reverend I think, camp. you know them? Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh -huh. I was raised with them. Uh -huh. So they lived, but well, the country Rather road was maybe down. a mile down, and uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know the camps, yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all of them. But I think it's a few of them, but they're younger people. They're much younger than I am. Yes. Now. How about the Stokes? The Stokes? Uh huh. Yeah, Henry Stokes. Yes. We used to call them Jaybirds. That's right. <laughs> 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 we, huh? It's Henry McCray, but That's we used right. to call them Jaybirds. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I know all them people, you know. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Bernie Wilson. Uh huh. Yeah, uh -huh. Bernie Wilson but, and Sylvester. Yeah. We used to call him Cousin Vest, <laughs> uh, Vest Welch. Yes, Brother Vest Welch. That was my mother's cousin. There were a lot of Welches out it there. Was, my mother was a Welch oh, okay. before she got married. Uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah. uh-huh. Mm -hmm. So I, I know all those people, you know. Yes, yeah. They came yes. up with Some of them was older than I am. They had Chris, Chris Welch, mm -hmm. and they had one of his boys was named Otis, and one was named Arthur, mm -hmm. Arthur Welch. Oh, and they had another Welch they called Mose Welch. Yes. He was a, he was a he minister. Was a minister. He minister. was reverend. Mm -hmm. He was, uh, had a boy named TJ mm -hmm. and one named Andrew. Okay. And he had two boys. Uh -huh. Yeah, mm -hmm. I knew all of them people. So you knew them well. Uh huh. Yes, you knew the families out there very well. Yeah. I spent a lot of time with the Ross families too. But we weren't related to the Ross but I, know, but I but knew you them. knew them, yeah. yeah I knew them. They're the ones that were the baseball diamond and everything. I think they only had one sister. Mm -hmm. Had to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, they had about, let's see, Junior, we used to call them Teddy, Buster. I think it had five boys, and uh, Lattice and Ed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's five boys. Right. Lattice yeah. was one that must spent a lot of time with him. Yeah, Lattice. Uh -huh. he's a, I think he's the last one I yeah. had passed, yeah, my passed. understanding, you know. That's yeah. right. Uh -huh. Well, goodness, you gave us a good uh, overview of the community and the people in the community yeah. during mm -hmm. your childhood. Mm -hmm. And we appreciate that very, well, very much. Thank you so much. much. Uh -huh. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yes. What were some of the crops? I know you mentioned the corn already, but what were some of the other crops that were grown out there? Well, we grew. Well, I say we, but my, my, my mother married again her stepfather, mm -hmm. and she had two children for mm -hmm. my stepfather. Hazel lived out there now, Hazel Hunt. Oh, I know Hazel. You know Hazel? That's my mm -hmm. sister. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And she had another sister, I have another sister named Octavia, but she lived, where Octavia lived? Down to, um, where, down there where your sister used to live? Not Coco. No, it's uh, mm -hmm. Melbourne, Melbourne. Mm -hmm. My sister lived in Melbourne. I see. Yeah, but we was... I ain't gonna tell you everything, me done. Well, we, can't, we can't do it all in one hour. <laughs> but what our, our thing was peanuts and watermelon. Uh huh. We that was watermelon. true. Mm -hmm. Yeah, peanuts and watermelon. Uh huh. You know. So yes. We uh, I remember once. I remember once we had eighty acres of watermelon. Mm -hmm. I mean, eighty acres of peanuts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we had over a hundred head of hog. Mm -hmm. And they had a, a hole which is called a mud hole. We had a windmill. Yes. A windmill. Mm -hmm. Then uh, they had thank you. that. Take that last down, let that wheel roll, and they'll put water. We had five barrels, because we had, you know, horses and cows. We, during that time, cows could roam the woods, mm -hmm. and they'd be out. See, they, could, they would burn the woods off, and that, and maybe two or three weeks, that, that grass would be coming up. And we had about, I guess, 16 to 17 head of cows, you know. Mm -hmm. That was a lot of cows. Yes, you it know. was. Yes, it was. So uh, we used to come out there and... We had five barrels. I went. We could loosen that thing. I was too small to do it, but my brother could do it. Loosen that lever, mm -hmm. and that that thing would come out from that windmill, and that windmill start, start pumping water. water. Mm -hmm. And we had five barrels. I would get. I remember get hot. I get in one of them barrels, buck naked. <laughs> it'd be so. It had no air condition. It had no air condition. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I know my mama came out there one day and she said, "I saw." So I went down in the water hole. I know she said. He was calling me. I wasn't saying nothing. <laughs> I hold my. 
Oh, my nose, like it's it. I, I wouldn't say that. She used to call me Tip. Tip! I wouldn't say a word. I, 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 I come up, I say, oh, yeah, oh. <laughs> But that was the worst time I ever had. My mom put a whooping on me. <laughs> she said, You could have got drowned, which I could have, you, you know, really I could have, but you know. At that age, you didn't think about that. No, you didn't think no about danger, it. No, no danger. dangers. No dangers. Right. Yeah, like, that's no right. dangers. You know, it was all good times. So we all great. had a lot of, a lot of fun. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. <laughs> and so all this, uh, how big was the property you were farming? We had, a hundred, we had 280, 160 acres of land. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It, yeah. My, oh, sorry, go ahead. My sister, she live out there now. Mm. And they have, a, I have a, Two sisters. Mm -hmm. She got two boys. One of them just retired from the railroad. One's a nurse at Shan. But after my mother passed, they had deeded all of our, our land. My two youngest sisters, they got 20 acres apiece. Because mm -hmm. their daddy was my stepdaddy. Mm -hmm. See, my mother had three children for my daddy. And that was our stepfather. So he gave us, he divided a 40 between three of us, which that was like 13 and some makers a piece, you know, like that. So okay. I thought that was good of him to do that, you know. So yeah. I didn't think about it at that time, but you know, it was, you know. But we had totally all that was together. Mm -hmm. 80, acres, 80 acres of land was a lot of land, you know, yeah. back yeah. in those days, yeah. you know. Can I ask how that land came into your family? How huh? did it how how did that land come into your family? How, do you know the? Well, I don't know how it came in before my time. How okay. the land came into my family, you know. But my my father's land, <coughs> excuse me. I don't know too much about that because mm -hmm. my father died when I was three. Mm -hmm. My mother had three children for my from for my daddy, Edel, Jessamy, and myself. And my father died. His mother had already passed. Then he had a a sister and two brothers and they wind up selling the land because my daughter tried to buy some of the land from them and but they were living in Miami mm. and we was in the country so you know how that is they're city people and we country people we, we're not supposed to know what's going on you know like that and anyway when uh, my daughter tried to buy some of the land from my aunt wouldn't she wouldn't sell it to him mm -hmm. so my uncle I think he got a hundred and what, hundred and, hundred and seven or eight or something. He lived to get a hundred and something years old. And he died, but we were grown then, we were grown. We had got safety cab then. And some of my cousin came to the funeral, and by them coming to the funeral, they said, y'all, you all have some old cousins up here. But we didn't know them. They didn't know us. And we didn't go to the funeral because he didn't like my mother. <laughs> he didn't like mm -hmm. my mother. And so uh, we said we ain't going to the funeral. He was kind of nice, nasty, I would say, you know. Cause my, excuse me, my mother told me something I never would forget. Hmm. My daddy died. So his wife liked it, my mother, and she was trying to bring some milk down at our house, and he made her pour the milk out. Hmm. He wouldn't give it. He, he made her pour it out. Hmm. So to make a long story short, I said, uh, when we got the cow stand, they came to his funeral, you know, mm -hmm. so we didn't go. But before that happened, he, my brother, he used to come over here, and he didn't have no transportation. My brother used to carry him home. Mm -hmm. He was at the cab then. My brother used to carry him home. My brother was five years older than I was. But I, and one day my brother wasn't there, and he wanted to go home. He asked me, he used to call me a baby. Baby! I didn't ever like him. I think I, my mama told me, I didn't ever like him, but maybe I shouldn't say this. So he said, I, I got to go home. I said, but well, go ahead on. I was grown. I was, I was grown. And he said, I'm your uncle. I said, yeah. And he said, uh, <laughs> he said, I, I, want, I want to go home. I said, I'm not going to take you home. And uh, he said, but why you want to take me? Your brother take me. I said, remember, I said, I'm going to tell you something. I've been wanting to tell you this, but I know how to do it. I said, my your wife used to try to give my mama milk and you made her pour it out. And I said, I never like you for that, you know, like that. So he bust out. It must have been true because he bust out and died crying. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And some more drivers at the cab stand said, you shouldn't have told I said, you don't have nothing to do with that. Mm -hmm. 
Hmm. Just like that, because that was they weren't related. What was his name? Gilbert Clark. Okay. Mm -hmm. That was my father's oldest brother. Uh -huh. But they had different data. He was a clock, my daddy was a turner. So, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. so. <laughs> I said, what? Well, <laughs> she didn't want me to tell that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Huh? <laughs> so, anything else? Well, sure. Um, so, you, you went to the, you mentioned the one schoolhouse you went to. Where did you go to school after that? Well, I didn't go after that. I didn't get okay. no high. I didn't get no high in uh, eighth grade, you know. Okay. Grade, you know, okay. Because I, I started staying over here in '45. Then I started working. You know, I started working. How were you in 1945? Huh? How old were you in 1945? I was about 17. About 17 mm -hmm. years old. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. So you came to Gainesville and got yourself a job, so right. to speak. I came and, and got you it. were a man, then you had to take care of yourself. Yeah, I had to kind of. I came over to to work to make some. Uh, money for so I could buy school clothes and that. Yes, yes. And my stepfather, during that time, he he had a saw that he used to cut wood, and he got his eye, and one of his eyes knocked out, and he came to the VA, and he started getting a check. He said, "I ain't gonna farm no more." So I liked it that, you know, because I didn't want to go out there no way. Mm -hmm. After I came here, and I started working in the cafeteria. And I, was, I, had a, I had a good boss, a lady, she was a, what's, what's she called? She was over the kitchen, what's she called? A dietitian. Dietitian, yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. And she was, she was real good to me and taught me a lot mm -hmm. because I was back. Now, what was the name of the cafeteria? University cafeteria. Oh, you were University, University of Florida. And what building yeah. did you work in at University? Because they got so many buildings out. Well, there wasn't no, wasn't no numbers. This was the cafeteria Just at that the time. Cafeteria. But the oh, numbers yeah. wasn't. Sufficient, you know, like yes, that. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. That's where used to serve the, all the chick, the food at, you know. Yes, sir. But uh -huh. now they got so many different branches out there That's where they so serve true. at, you know. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And I used to, she was my boss. Uh -huh. What was her name? Miss Sword. S W. Miss Sword, and she used to call me Little Turner, Little Turner. And she used uh -huh. to come in there and say, "Go get my coffee." I go in there because she, she said, "He know how I like it." And I would fix her coffee, uh -huh. and she used to sit down. I said, "I got to go to work." And she said, I'm your boss. So you do what I said do. I stay in there with her sometime, hour, hour and a half. And she said, she had a big leg. I don't guess y'all want to know that, though, do you? Yes, I do. Sure. Was uh, it health related? Huh? Was her, her, her health. Her it health. Was a big, mm -hmm. But like, mm -hmm. I call it a swole leg, but it, it was, she had to wrap this okay. wrap around it. Yeah. And she said, I want you to wrap my, le my leg. Mm -hmm. And she had a pen. She said, but don't you stick me. <laughs> <laughs> like that, yeah. And I was kind of scared, you know. She said, pull it tight, pull it tight. And mm -hmm. I would wrap it like that and wrap it all the way down to here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I was staying there with her sometimes two and three hours. Mm -hmm. And we had some more guys working out there. They say, uh, they tried to get me fired. They said, he don't do nothing. He was uh -oh. staying there with me sword all day. She, and the butcher, she used to always send me to him and say, his name was Matthew, Walter Matthews. He said, tell Walter to send me one steak and some ground meat and two poke chop. And I'll go in there and get them and carry them back to them. So they was, the guys was talking about me because I didn't do nothing. Cause I wasn't where I'm supposed to be there, but they wasn't my boss. Mm -hmm. And uh, he, he told them, say, uh, if she hear you talking about him, she's going to fire you. She's going to fire you. And come to find out one of them was my cousin. But he didn't know me, but he knew my brother. And his name was Furman Welch and Elisha Way. Oh, he was yes. a, from Elisha Way. You, you knew Furman? <laughs> yes, I he did. He uh -huh. lived with a hundred. Yes, he did. That uh, was my cousin. Yeah, yeah, I went over there. His name was Furman Welch, uh, I but Furman. I didn't know him. My brother knew him. And so uh, come to find out, he said, maybe later on down, I don't know how long, because I didn't keep up. He said, hey, cuz, I said, I'm not kidding you. I said, I'm just like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then, then we started talking, and he did come, and he said, my brother came and said, yes, your cousin. It's like, That's yeah. Right. I said, he the one trying to get me fired. Farmer <laughs> <laughs> was a character. <laughs> yeah, he was uh, a <coughs> well. Yeah, I knew it, but I come and to know him. His wife, too, yeah. My musician. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. They, oh, she was a wonderful musician. She played for several churches over in Alachua and around. Yeah, yeah I, I knew both of them and spent time in their home. Well, his wife was from Gainesville. Uh-huh. She was one of the, I think she did. 
the gills I had the, mm -hmm. the old gill in them. I think they're people raised up. Yes. Yeah, but I learned that later on. Yeah, I didn't know too much about them when I first came. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's huh? what they call it. It was a nickname. Uh -huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But he passed. Yeah, both we went to both of them too. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Last time I saw her, they were giving her a birthday party in Gainesville. Oh, it's yeah? It's been a few years back. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. <laughs> but I knew Mr. Foreman. He was a riot. <laughs> 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 he was telling us he gave us a story about how he was so old he couldn't get in the boat to go fishing. Yeah. And so they would get him up there to the boat and, at the landing, and then they would take his front legs and his back Bam. and set him down <laughs> In the, in, the boat. in the boat, so he could go fishing with the boys. My, he I loved to go fishing. I didn't. I don't. I don't go fishing. I'm scared of water. I can't swim. I don't go fishing. I hear you. I buy them, but I ain't gonna go fishing. <laughs> 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 Mr. Furman liked to go fishing with the boys. Yeah, the boys can go it. head on. I ain't getting that water. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it's fine. Yes, wrong. indeed. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. So, anything else? Oh, yes. Sure. Well, we're going to change a little bit and talk about some of the things in the Gainesville area. Um, I wanted to make sure we talked a little bit about Fifth Avenue. Because Fifth Avenue. Because you know the streets well and some of the activities that were going on on Fifth Avenue. At that time? Yes, sir. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, when I came here, I started working. Then on my off day, I would ride with George Walker. He, he drove cab. Mm. And I would help him with the bags and, you know, I'd make his gear maybe a dollar, two dollars, but that was pretty good after I get off from work. Mm -hmm. And I started riding with him, but I, <coughs> excuse me, we uh, would go different places and ride in front of the cab stand, which, where the cab stand is now, that was the movie. Mm -hmm. That was the theater. Yes, sir. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, but they built the theater down across the railroad track. Yes. And so it was, uh, but all, right in front of the, the cab stand was, uh, Mr. Franklin, mm -hmm. and uh, to your left there was a, it was a house there. What's the name of them? That's where Brumhill number Ray. I can't think of her mother name, but I believe she was a home. Right. But she had some children named Brunel, one named Carolyn, one named Beverly. But I've forgotten her name, her husband name, and a boy named Henry. Henry yeah, have to and look that, there up. was another boy, I've forgotten his name, but he left and went away, so I don't know what happened to him, but Tim, Tim, that was his name, Tim. Tim. Uh -huh. okay, Tim and next door to her was uh, Marie. Mm -hmm. Marie had a, like, a little party house, like you yes. go there and buy drinks or yes. whatever. Mm -hmm. And next, where Duncan Brothers is now, that was a barber shop, mm -hmm. Reverend Walker. Okay, Reverend Walker was there. Well, right there, where Duncan Brothers. Yes, uh-huh. And, uh, and uh, right close to him was a shoe sign stand there. Mm -hmm. Supreme ran the shoe sign stand. Supreme. Supreme. And across the street was a grocery store with Mr. Haynes and Mr. F F Haynes had a grocery store. Fisher had a little fish marketplace. Mm -hmm. And next door to him was Plummer, Plummer Barbershop. Mm -hmm. Plumber, yeah, plumber. Mm -hmm. plumber, plumber, plumber barber shop. Yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and next door to plumber, it was Maggie and what was Maggie's husband name? Joe. Mm -hmm. And next door to uh, <coughs> Joe, what it was. What did Maggie and Joe have? What was their business? He had a little restaurant. Restaurant. A little restaurant. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And there was a little joke next door to him. A little. But they sell beer and stuff. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. And next door there was Reverend Cato. Oh yeah, I've heard a lot about Reverend Cato. And next door to Reverend Cato was Gilbert Shoe Shine Stand. It was Shoe Shine. Yeah. And next door to them, c coming south, it was Leonard Jackson. The Jackson, they had four or five little houses down the at a little alley that they rent. Like one, you can get a, a room. They had two. Like house had two rooms, but they rent different people. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And next door was Leonard Jackson. He had a two-story building, and Ellen McCannon and Pap Pap had a seized the way he made clothes. Now, what was Pap's name? Because I've heard his name. They call Pap, him Pap. Uh -huh. Pap Jordan. Okay. He got a wife named Ellen Jordan. Okay, Edmund, I didn't know what his name was, but I've heard Pap so many Pap. times. Mm -hmm. okay. Pap Jordan. Well, that's all I ever knew of Pap Jordan. That's yeah, all I yeah, knew yeah. His, Pap. Mm -hmm. his father was a minister, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but I didn't, didn't never know his father. Mm -hmm. And uh, right on down from him, 
it was a big building, a pool room there. Mm. Okay. And next to that pool room, Wigwan had chicken running out the pot. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we missed mm -hmm. Oscar Gilbert, didn't we? The shoe yeah, shop. Did, yeah, but we did, did we, we get him Oscar Gilbert, Gilbert at shoe shop? Uh, shoe shine. Shoe shine, Oscar Gilbert. Okay, let me mm -hmm. put him in here. And and uh, down the wig one, wig one opened a bit and said he had a nice little joke where you could dance and they had chicken running in. I uh, had a Leon light up top and like the chicken running in the pot, you know, mm -hmm. like that, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then Fletcher had the pool room next there. Mm -hmm. But first, Wigwan had the pool room. So Wigwan had the pool room first. And then Fletcher bought it from him. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Fletcher's still down there. Uh -huh. Fletcher's still down there. You talking about Fletcher? With a, Fletcher Green. Yeah. Aaron yeah. got yeah, it. Fletcher Aaron, Dave. Aaron, yeah, yeah, Aaron. His building is still there. Yeah, but Aaron runs it now. A his son runs it. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Aaron yeah. Green. Uh, that's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then there's uh, Miss, Miss William before they got uh, Mildred William. We used to call him Bowlegged Jack. His mother stayed in there. Okay. Next door to them, coming on down towards uh, Sixth Street. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Where, uh, where the pool, where Fletcher Hill, that was Mildred and Mildred and Bowleg Jack mother's place. Oh, really? Yeah. And then I had, got, I had bought a car, but I had bought an old raggedy car up in there. <laughs> <laughs> but, and on the corner was Fletcher Daddy, on the corner of Sixth Street. And Fifth Avenue, but first the Pound House that they, they right there. Sixth Street and what? Sixth Street. Uh huh. On the corner. Fifth there. Avenue and Sixth there on the yeah. very corner. Uh huh. Right in front of that barber shop. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh huh. But where that barber shop on the other side was a liquor store. Okay. It was a bunch of them got it, but it didn't last too long. And trying to where you where Santa Fe is, that was the train station. That's right. That was the train station. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And right down past the train station, Zeke had a big jerk there. Zeke Hodge. Zeke Hodge. Okay. And, and a Zeke had what was that? It was a juke. Okay, juke. Okay, yeah, but you could buy, drink, <laughs> dance, and yeah, you yeah, know. yeah, 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 yeah. I'm with you. I'm with you. But this is important to know. Yeah. Now was Mama Lowe's there at that time? Mama Lowe was on Six Street. She was on Six Street. Six down there, almost to the police station. Uh, yeah, that's she right. On, but she was coming to towards Eighth Avenue. She was on the left hand side. That's right. She was next to the church. She was next to the, the church. Mama Lowe. Yeah, Mama Lowe's. Uh huh. And then the people that live next door to Mama Lowe's. What was, was the, his name? He was I don't know. He's a big old man, about yeah, four hundred pounds. Yes, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. But I can't call I think his name. I'm right not sure. Morning. I don't want to lie on him, but I don't know. His, I remember him, but he always be sitting on that porch. Yeah, he always be sitting on that porch. But I never did. I, I, no. I, his name would come to me. Yeah. Yeah, because he used to tell us always to go to Mama Lowe's and eat. Yeah. And we oh, would yeah. go there. So you remember Mom, oh, yes, Mom, Mama? Oh, yes. Mama Lowe's. Mama and no but Mama Lowe's husband, husband, husband was named Curtis. Oh, yeah. I knew him, too. And he always had those big cars. A nice car. Always a fine car. <coughs> well, when I got to be a grown man, I was driving a cab. Mm hmm. Mama Lowe stayed out there, you know, where uh, B was named. We got to go out there and get stuff. Sam. 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 You know where Sam is? Uh, I know the area. But they first stayed in Poland. Yes, that's it what I lived heard. They lived in Poland. But she bought a place out there where Sam is now. And they told me she had a big swimming pool out there. <laughs> big, yeah, well, I carried the guy to, to dig the swimming pool. Okay. I rode him. Uh-huh. And uh -huh. anyway, um, she couldn't, my, I don't know, could she drive, but she never did drive. I never, see, I never, I never saw did. her drive. I used to ride her now driving cab. Uh -huh. And she called me and said, everybody called me Nat. Nat, come on, cut us in the hospital. Yeah. And he getting this job. Uh -huh. So I went and picked her up and we got to the VA to pick Curtis up. Curtis was dead. Oh my. Curtis was dead. Uh -huh. Well, I knew him. And I, w I knew him too. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't go to the VA for a long time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, I'm a veteran. Yeah. But I wouldn't go to the VA. I said, no, they killed him out there. <laughs> <laughs> so so I, uh, I took him back and I was, my brother wouldn't go to the VA. Well, let me ask this one other question in regards to Mama Lowe's and these different businesses. We had some of the most ex uh, active musicians to come to those areas. Mm -hmm. uh, you had B.B. Um, King. But, excuse me, B.B. Uh -huh. King was out here on the he was on, the, on Summer Avenue. Yeah, he was on yeah. Summer Okay. Uh -huh. All right. And then you had and Ray Charles. Ray Charles. Ray you Charles. had Amos. Uh, the guy that played on TV, and uh, you had a lot of them, and she had all those posters and pictures, pictures yeah. along the way. And that building to, is still there. 
Yeah. Yeah, uh-huh. Uh-huh. It is? It's building still there, right on the corner. Oh, oh, okay. They call it, what's the name of the, um, um, what's the name of that building? Portfolio. On the corner of Southeast 7th Avenue and 9th Street. Yeah. So they just done mm -hmm. some remodeling there. This, this lady, Miss Miss Fowler, she was remodeling yeah, yeah, somewhere. Miss yeah. Fowler, mm -hmm. she lives in Lincoln State. That's it. Yeah, mm -hmm. I've been in that building many times. I couldn't you dance. You talking about the Cotton Club? <laughs> huh? You talking about where the Cotton Club? For is? the Cotton Club, yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. You uh -huh. know, it's opening now again. But they uh, they are trying to get it under some kind of construction. That's and exactly get true. It right yeah, for, yeah, yeah. But yeah I've been there a lot of times. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, well, yeah uh -huh. We've interviewed several people who used to go there and dance. Yeah. And have fun. <laughs> <laughs> well, I remember the first time I saw Ray Charles. He was at that bit. He was blind. Yes, Ray that's Charles. exactly and true. And he used to be he used to be the singing just and going. be doing like this all over the place. <laughs> I saw him three or four yeah. times. He'd be just. <laughs> and I used to watch him. I said, I believe he can see. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he did that. All, he was doing that all, but it was a lot of fun to watch, you know. Mm -hmm. And he been, and they brought in a lot of people, uh, like uh, the early gospel singers yeah. too. Yeah, uh, yeah. They uh -huh. all came in, into uh, this area, yeah, so yeah. it was wonderful. Yeah, so mm -hmm. those were the good days. Then yeah, you know, uh, you uh, could, yeah. Roberta Flack came here. Several mm -hmm. of them. Several of them. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's a lot of good bands. BB King, he came here. Oh yeah, BB was here BB, many times. He time. get that, get that here. Yeah. yeah, I think he had. A, I don't know if he married, but he had a child. He yeah, got a mind. child. Yeah, here. that's uh -huh. right. I met her. Right yeah, I, I knew her. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah now all those words get out quick. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right. And they had Second Street, you know, mm -hmm. Second Street. Mm -hmm. But I didn't go around Second Street and Polar's Quarter. Polar was kind of rough, and I didn't. That's uh, what I heard. I didn't. I didn't go around Great Key and Polar. <laughs> <laughs> but they had trouble with juke joints and. They had a buck, one they called the Bucket of Blood. Bucket of Blood. Bucket of Blood. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We I heard that when we came here. And my husband said we don't go down on that yeah. side of town. Yeah, I had cousins. Excuse me. I had cousins in Polar, but I would never go over there. Mm -hmm. now, Henry the Lees, mm -hmm. Charlie Frank Lee, Henry Lee, and Greta Lee, and. Uh, one of them, my son right now, I think she's uh, I think she's the same age I am, I think. Uh -huh. But uh, pool is a place I didn't mess around at. And I used to like to shoot pool. They had a pool in my house. I ain't going there to play no pool. <laughs> <laughs> and they told us not to be over there at night. It's you know, wasn't a nice place to go. When we first moved to Gainesville, they yeah. told us mm -hmm. places not to so go. I play pool. I shoot pool now, but I go out to Senior Citizen Building. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Out here by the patrol station? Yes, sir. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Yeah, it's very yeah. nice out there. Yeah, I go. Extremely oh, yeah, nice. Go yes. out there. Me and my wife go uh, two or three times a week sometimes. Oh, you do? Okay. <laughs> yeah, a lot I shoot pool and she go and, she go and talk with different people. It was, you know, it's good. It's something it's to get nice. out of the house, it's you know. Nice. Yeah. It's very nice. It really is. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of fun, you know. You meet a lot of nice people out there, you know. That's right. So really now, fun. we used to go over there to Shady Grove. Primitive go to church? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that was Reverend Rollins. Right. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that was next to the Foxes, isn't it? That's right, next to the Foxes. <laughs> yeah. So the Foxes Nursery, and we used to go there and mm -hmm. talk to the people in there. Yeah. And once we understood where to go in Portis, well, we would go there. It was, it's safe, yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. Eugene Mills used to fix cars right down past that church there. Yes, he sure and did. He had a daughter named Margaret Mills. And I forgot what his son, but he's much younger than I was. Mm -hmm. But I knew, I remember Margaret. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah but I, once we understood Porters, we would be in and out there. But we knew what time to <laughs> go and how. And Reverend Rollins, you know, was a farmer. I don't know if uh -huh. you knew that, but he had about 200 acres of uh, watermelon. He did? And he would take us out to the fields. Watermelon And my field. little kids were small. And he would uh, bust a watermelon and have them sit out there and eat it and make me make a picture of it. Of it. Seeing these kids eating watermelon in the field. <laughs> And they were just nice people to us. If we hadn't had those kind of folk when we came to Gainesville, we wouldn't have stayed. Yeah, we had a lot. We used to raise a lot of. Then we had a lot of hogs. We mm -hmm. had over hundred hogs. He had hogs too. He had probably <coughs> two or three hundred hogs out there. Had a huge farm out there. We used to bust the worm and just get the heart out of it. Mm -hmm. the and center. my mama said, "Y'all to bust them worm and go back and get that rind and bring it to the hog. Yeah. We had to go back and pick that bust the worm and up." <laughs> and then we would take the rind and they would make pickle out of it. Have you you ever had watermelon pickle? I had it, but my mother never. What? My mother thing was peas. She would can them. Mm -hmm. Peas, corn, and we had a lot of peach feed. Peach, uh -huh. Peaches. I used to yes. hate to peel peaches. <laughs> Ooh, Lord, I used to hate that. Yeah. <laughs> peaches and uh, pears. And blackberries, you know, oh, blackberries. Yeah. Oh, they yeah, call them blueberries now. Yeah, we yeah. call them blackberries. Yeah, blackberries. 
Huh? Bear the black bears have the little small seeds. They're small, but they have a little, that sticker, that thing is sticky in there. You got that right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And she said, y'all, I make y'all, she used to make something they call a doobie. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I know what a doobie is. <laughs> and it was a white couple living, well, I said next door to about from here to Wallow Road. Mm -hmm. And his name was Jay. And me and him get on the same horse. You know, he get, if he, who get on him first, and they wouldn't get behind him. Mm -hmm. And I wrap my arms around him and we go pick it. Mom said, be careful outside that fence because them snakes like them black bears yes, too, you know. Yes, they love them. And she said, y'all, y'all wash your hand. We go and wash our hand, that big barrel of water, wash our hand and dry them on us like this, you know. <laughs> <laughs> We didn't have no towel, no, it's no, no. We wash our hand in the bag, come and dry them on like this, you know. And mama fixed them doobie. And we eat black bear doobie. Oh, you talking and something good. To tell you this, I was grown driving cab, mm -hmm. and I, they was building Holiday End on uh, Newberry Road in 75th Seven. Street. Mm -hmm. And I was dispatched by blind Arthur. Yes. Yeah. He, but he, you, mm -hmm. he would, you would think he could see. I so he right. tell you, say, got to call uh, Holiday Inn. I think he, I forgot the room number. It was 40, 140 something. Anyway, <coughs> excuse me. I went to the desk and I said, I'm from safety care, I'm not got to pick up it. I looked at the number and told the number of the room. Mm -hmm. And she said, okay, I'll call him. And she called him. I said, can I have a cup of that coffee? He said, go help yourself. Mm -hmm. And there was a white guy in there, big old guy. I was thinking the coffee and I was walking around. He kept watching me. He kept, and I could look, I said, why are you looking at me? I kept moving around. He, everywhere I go, he would be there. <clears throat> so he knew I had some fingers off. He knew I had some fingers off, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So he said, he called me Tit. He said, Tit. I look around. I said, what you call me? He said, Tit. And I look around at him. Mm -hmm. I said, Jay. <laughs> I said, Jay. And that's got, I look around. He, well, he was much bigger now. He was about, about his side of me. But, mm -hmm. And that's guy grabbed me and had me up in the air. <laughs> And the lady behind the counter, she come running. Hey, he, she thought we were fighting. Don't you know? tell me I have a situation that oh, they can oh, handle. Did I bother him? Oh yeah, no, yeah. No, no. no. She came around the counter. He said, "Ma'am, it's nothing to be alarmed. No, no. Me and him are raised together. That's just natural. But, but if I knew, if I seen his hand, I would know him. Mm -hmm. But I couldn't. Do it. That's why I was trying to get around the scene. Yeah, yeah. And when my custom came out there, I had to make him squeak. Tell me, Lou, I got to go with Jay. <laughs> He was so glad to but see him. But I was you. glad to see him. Yeah, but yeah. when the last time I saw him, me and him were about the same size. Mm. But he was much younger than I was. Right, right. I enjoyed seeing Jay. Oh, he yeah. had retired from, uh, I think it's some, some parts of uh, Illinois. Uh huh, and come back some. It isn't that He funny. told this lady, said, We was integrated way before integration. That's right. We used to ride this. Who's never get on the horse first? The hood and get behind mm -hmm. it. And go but down I was, the road. I, I, he was just like a brother to me mm. because we were eating at the same table all the time. My mother feed him. I go to his house the same way. Mm -hmm. I but, have to you know. ask you about one other family, the Buchanans. Buchanans? Yes. Ellen? Uh huh. I'm Ken Ellen. Oh, okay. Ellen uh -huh. right down there from the police station. Uh huh. We, Ellen, what? Ellen, what? 90 what? I think she's 90. Mm, I don't know what the age is, but I haven't seen her in about it's, two or three years. No, Ellen, 90. Uh, 90. I think she told me she'd be 95. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's uh -huh. my cousin. Yeah. yeah, but that's the lady that I wanted to put on my list of people to interview, but mm -hmm. we hadn't gotten there yet. Uh -huh. Yeah, Ellen. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Where Ellen is, that was my mother's cousin. Her at how she got, he used to be a tailor. Uh -huh. And where that pool room is, where that boy sell barbecue? Yes. That was his shop for making clothes like. Uh -huh. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm close to Ellen. So you close to Ellen? Yeah, but yeah. a lot of Buchanan's yeah, out I'm, there also yeah, in uh, the Jonesville area. Yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah we, all, we all went to the same church when it was in Jonesville. What, which church did you attend? Pleasant Plain. Mm -hmm. Yes, Pleasant sir. Plain. Okay, it was a &E. My sister stayed right down the street from Pleasant Plain now. Okay, we were Hazel. just out there the other day. <laughs> huh? We were just out there the other day. They we put were. a historic marker But the road is so bad, you have to yeah. come, in, come in from the we back. Did. That's yeah. what we did. We came in from the back. From that the back. 66, you don't get on it. Yeah, the man's, the pastor said, don't put yourself on that. Yeah. So mm -hmm. we came in the back. That's right. where we go. I go, uh -huh. I go, go to Pay Road, come in behind the church. Yeah, once, oh, right. that's yeah. Uh, 170, and then we cut off yeah. and come through the back. But a long time ago, they kept that road cut, you know. Yes, they did. Kept it cut and kept it graded, but mm -hmm. they, uh, they, they didn't do a good job on it now so yeah when i, I was guess. doing the study out there it was in good shape 
Mm -hmm. And that was about 2004, 2005, and 2006. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was in fairly good shape, but uh -uh, I wouldn't go yeah. on it now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Ellen, all those are my people. All right, okay. Yeah. So are you related to Joel Buchanan? Who? Joel. The, uh, Joel. Joel. Joel died, didn't he? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's yeah. a, he's, he's a uh, work at the University of Florida. He was a yes, teacher, sir. my understanding, mm -hmm. isn't he? Mm -hmm. He's been dead now about five or six years, isn't he? Probably about four years. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know all them people. Mm -hmm. So you knew his father and the mother and all of them? Joel. Yeah, yeah. Joel's father was named Joe. That's right, because he carried out that pleasant plan. Yeah, uh -huh. but his, I, his mother, I, <coughs> excuse me, I've forgotten her name, but I knew her. Uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah. She used to go to William Temple Church. Yes, yes, that's right. Yeah. I knew mm -hmm. her. I knew well. his mother. He had another brother. Uh, Matter of fact, he got a sister living now. That's right. She lives in the home house right on. Oh, she does? Yeah. Mm -hmm. She's over there on 6th. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mm -hmm. think it's 6th Street. Yeah. yeah, Joel's brother used to be the best checker player. That, uh, his daddy used to be the best checker player in Gainesville. Oh, okay. Joel. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh huh. And his Joel uncle just died here about maybe a year ago. Mm -hmm. What's his name? Was uh. Chester, mm -hmm. Chester McCallum. Yeah, I recall yeah. that when that mm -hmm. happened. Mm -hmm. It wasn't but two girls, Ellen and Mary. That's it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I remember all them people. <laughs> you really do. You got a strong remembrance of your community. Yeah, I remember all those people. Right Absolutely. There. Yeah. And okay. right where uh, Jonesville Mall is. Uh -huh. You know where that is? Yes, sir. I know. It's a little city there now. Isn't it, though? It's, it's, it's nice out there. It's no country no more. Mm -mm. It's it like I was telling him when he first came in. Almost to Newberry. Yeah. See, when we was out there, the highway wasn't, just two cars could come on. You know, had a center line. Mm -hmm. But now they got sidewalk from Gainesville to Jonesville. You Absolutely. can ride a bike on the sidewalk. That's exactly yeah. true. That's exactly That's true. true. Uh, did you hear any stories about the Newberry? Who? Did you hear any stories about the Newberry Six, the lynchings that happened? I, I don't know nothing about it, but my mother told us about it. Uh -huh. I don't know anything mm -hmm. about it. She, she knew about, about it, but mm -hmm. I don't. I knew where it was. They called it, it had a lynch, they had a lynch hammer. It was lynch a hammer. whole there some big tree. Uh -huh. And when we come by there that, with that way and we turned that hook with See, back in those days, people talk about hands. Mm -hmm. you, you ever heard yeah, of that? Yeah. <laughs> you ever heard? I know what you're talking about. But truly, I know <laughs> people talk about it. I used to have, <coughs> excuse me, when we, when I said we, when they killed hogs, my mother had a sister stay in Nebo. They called Louise Hayes. Mm, uh, uh, yes. You know her? You got two daughters now, one named Curly, <laughs> one named Katie Mae. You know uh, them? I don't know them personally, but Louise Hayes. Well, one of them Hayes married Mr. Jones. Uh-huh. Well, we, well, I said we, my parents, when they killed hogs, they would bring my mother some meat. Mm -hmm. <coughs> we used to, well, they, I said we, we used to kill three and four hogs. You know how to hang a hog up? Yes, I know. And mama said, you got to catch, it's called a sill. You take sister and me. I said, I hope I don't be the one that can. Because you got to go by the church. You got to go by the church. And look like they wait to almost for the sun to go down before they send you up there. Mm -hmm. And we had a horse named Peanut. <laughs> Peanut could run and would run. You, but you, you know, yeah. and every time I go by the church, he go to cutting up. Like he see something. <laughs> then I'm scared and he's scared. And this is the God heaven truth. I tell my wife, you to see like you feel something wrong. Mm -hmm. You ever had, you 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 yes. wasn't raised in the country, were you? Uh yes. We have a farm that huh? was out in the country. I oh, lived yeah. in town, but it didn't matter because yeah. we would be out to the farm just about every other when, day. When peanut throws his ear like that and go it's, to snorting. It's time to move. My I couldn't move because 'cause I'm on him. <laughs> but <laughs> my hair was stamped on my head. That's the God heaven truth. And feel like you were coming into a warm spot, uh -huh, uh -huh. and I turn him loose. Mm -hmm. <laughs> be all of I said, Lord, I just hope I can stay on. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know some of those stories. But yes, that that was the truth. Mm -hmm. And look, like time I go and the drop that off and get back to the church, mm -hmm. it be dark. Oh my God! And people would come to the house. Come on. hand. I said, Mama, why they had to come here talking that? And then you mm -hmm. get scared. They were frightened. We had an outdoor toilet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and every night, my sister got to go to. <laughs> Come on, go with me. Uh -huh. She's scared. I'm, I get the dog. We had a dog named Tash. Come on, Tash. <laughs> and then when we get out of sometimes, then she's, whoop, 
So he sees something. I said, I said, it was something else. I believe you. I said, Every night you got to go. <laughs> but, Why did you get the pot and give it to her? <laughs> no, no, no. She come looking at me. I said, I ain't going out. <laughs> but all those days, you know, I guess, it was, you know, because it wasn't no endo at no, that no, time. No, no, no. Everything was like I told them, we didn't have no liquid light. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I got a mini pop, but I didn't clean the lamp shade right. Uh -oh. And when you lie, it looks like a zebra. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, <laughs> well, I do want to say one other thing in regards to the lynch hammer. Several lynchings were done there. Yeah. Not just those six that, that we know about. I know of two that happened in 1902 in September. Mm -hmm. And these were boys. One of them went out in the field and they claimed that those boys ate a watermelon, mm -hmm. the center of the heart of the watermelon mm -hmm. in a white man's field. And they carried those two young boys. One was 10 and the other one, I believe, was 12. And they lynched them right there at Lynch Hammer. And Lynch Hammer. Yeah. And then there were some other lynches that I know about that I don't have more details on right now. But, but yeah, several people were lynched in that location. And that place. Yes. Excuse sir. me. That was my mother told me, but she said, mm -hmm. you ain't got nothing to do with it. Oh, I guess they was afraid at that time, mm -hmm. at that time, you know, because yeah. it wasn't the integration. And she said, you just keep your mouth closed. You didn't buy ask you anything? I don't you know. You don't see you know, here yeah, and yeah. know anything. And you fare better. Yes, yes, yeah, so, sir. But mm -hmm. I, I've heard of the lynch hammer, because we used to have to come by there at night. Mm -mm. We turned that way and old, try to <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I so had to stand. Uh, I yeah, had I've stand. heard of it, but, you know, I didn't, I wasn't big enough. My mother said she was kind of young, but she didn't never get involved in that, you know. No, yeah. no, I, I understand. Yeah. I hear you well. Yeah. Now, uh, tell us some of the stories about the people that you picked up, you know, cab people that you picked up. Did you have any people you pick up every day or every other yeah, day? Yeah, I had people that uh, I would ride and they would pay me when they get paid off. Yes, th but th those type of people. You can't do that today. No, I understand. No, you can't do that today. But, but you people, had regular people. I had regular people I would ride. Mm-hmm. And they would pay me when they get paid. Yeah, off. at the end of the so, week or the end of the month or however yeah. that works. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But, you know, some people will pay you now, some people won't pay you. Yeah. So yeah. you have to kind of trust them and feel them out. Like a person been riding with you a good while, it's hard to tell a person down and they've been riding with you and they got children, mm -hmm. you know. It's hard to tell them, no, I can't ride you no more. Mm -hmm. And they're working. They say, I'll pay you. We talk about it, we, we, we discuss that between ourselves. Yes, yes, yes. Because I know during that time when you're working, got a family. It's rough. We wasn't making a lot of money at that time. Oh, I understand. You had to make good of what you have, you know. Yes, sir. And because I'm living pretty good, I had to try to help you because somebody exactly had to help right. me. That's exactly right. That's right. right. That's the way I done. Right. Right. Somebody had to help me. Right. And I had, a, I, had a, I told my wife about it not too long ago. I saw the girl and she had uh, two boys. She lived on Sugar Hill apartment. Mm -hmm. Her name, I ain't gonna take her name. That's all right, I know yeah. what Sugar Hill is. <laughs> but uh, she told me, she said, you're getting paid every 14 days, I believe it was. She worked at behind this nurse home behind North Florida. Okay. Nobody else? I never, I never <coughs> And she had two girl, two boys for, she wasn't married this guy, but mm -hmm. she said, he'd rather go to jail than to pay her child support. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we're doing, just before Christmas, and she started sniffing, she started crying. I said, Linda, what are you? It's like that. Mm -hmm. What are you? You sick? No, I'm not sick. She said, they call me Nat. Mm -hmm. She said, Nat, I'm just thinking. I got two boys, and I got, I had put my stuff on layaway for them, mm -hmm. and he was supposed to pay her that Friday, some money from him. Sure. But he went to jail. He wouldn't pay them. Mm -hmm. So she called the people, and they picked them up. And she said, I just don't have the money to pay you and get my children layaway. I said, Lena, I don't, have to, I don't do this too much. But so I, I said, I got children myself, mm -hmm. and I know the feeling. Mm -hmm. I said, you can just owe me for this two weeks, and when you get paid next two weeks, now you're going to be able to pay that and this? She said, I'll be able to do it. She said, I'll be able to do it because I want to get my children. I said, let's keep that and get your children uh, lay away out. Mm -hmm. And every way I see her today, she grabbed me and hugged and me. Hugged, and that was the community. 
Yeah. You did that. My mm -hmm. grandfather ran a store, mm -hmm. and he had to do that so many times. The people right. didn't have a quarter, mm -hmm. and Papa said, well, we will be blessed mm -hmm. because you're helping the people in you your community. For a, a, it's for a good cause. That's exactly That's right. right. And one lady was a washwoman. My daddy's, my grandfather's mm -hmm. uh, lady was a washwoman, and she had nothing, zero. And she had family members who were on alcohol, and she didn't fare too well at home. And Papa never charged her for anything she took out of that store. <laughs> she could come, and if I was there, Miss Lucy, anything Miss Lucy want, Miss Lucy Let's give it to her. And mm -hmm. so I knew, you know, how to handle Miss Lucy, and yeah. she was always so appreciative. So you find well, people like that. Well, you help a person that come back to you. Yeah, it comes back. That's what Papa mm -hmm. said all the way. He right. said, "Now look, I got me a new Desoto sitting out here in the yard, <laughs> and I wouldn't have this Desoto if I hadn't been nice been to nice my to people, people in my community." That's right. That's right. That's, right. Right. that's, that's right. exactly what he said. And Papa was a little self getting in that big Desoto <laughs> <laughs> going down the highway. <laughs> well, so it, it comes I hope back a lot of people couldn't. I hope a lot of people, mm -hmm. but like I, I say that. now. I didn't mention to them, but a lot of people, they were helping me. Yes. They were helping me. That's exactly That's right. right. Yeah, because cool. they would be bringing you vegetables. I know right. they would bring us stuff to mom and papa that they didn't even need. That's Just true. And for payment, uh, sweet potatoes when their crops came in, you know. Well, we owe you this, and they would bring that and give it to them. That was it. Yeah, I, drove no 40, I drove care 45 years. Mm -hmm. Never been robbed. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, but I had something from her. <laughs> <laughs> I know I used to leave you some <laughs> mine. She was she scared of guns. She scared of them. Mm -hmm. Come on. You don't need that. I said, I'd rather I'd rather go to 39th than go to Duncan. I said, <laughs> 39th. <laughs> I know what 39th is. I said, I, 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 if I see you ain't doing right, I'm gonna put something with you. So what can I do if he grabbed me big as he is? And I'm I weighing 145 pounds. Mm -hmm. I said, mm -hmm. I'll shoot you in a minute. I said, I can't I left him one morning. I, I always go out and crank my car and come back in. Mm. I had my gun. So I went out, cranked my car. It was cold. Cranked my car up and let it be warmed up, and I come back and get ready. So I went back to my car. We had hedges. I took them hedges down. Mm -hmm. So a guy car started, I don't you come in this yard. He said, I just want to ask you which way to be. I said, this way, like that. <laughs> 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 but, but he probably gonna grab me. Uh -huh. I said he's small. I can handle him. I just want to ask you which way to be. I said this way. I throw that third end on it. <laughs> Sound like he was tap dancing going. That's another question of you. Uh, also, where did you get your re repair work done on your cars, and who serviced you with your gas and so forth to run well, your vehicle? Well, I bought my own gas, but I went to. You know where Fifth Avenue and Thirteenth Street mm -hmm. it used to be Tubby, Tubby filling station. Oh yes, okay, I Tubby. heard about that. Yes. Well, before Tubby bought that, my uncle owned that Charlie Hush. Mm. Okay. Right back there on the corner of Fifth and Thirteenth, it's a little, um, it's a little some kind of little, ghost, little restaurant there now, isn't it? I, I think so. That that purple building, right? Or yeah, uh -huh. yeah, yeah. They'd be yeah. sitting out on the tent eating that. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, my uncle owned that. Charlie what Hurst owned that. The Charlie Hurst. Charlie Hurst. Okay. Charlie that Hirsch. was Tommy Hurst's uh -huh. brother. He's Tommy Hurst used to work yeah. at the bank. Yeah, well, the Hurst were big names out there in well, Jonesville, too. Well, they're from Jonesville. Yes, 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 indeed. They're from Jonesville. They, they were the Hirsch, people Uncle Han, Hannibal Hurst. Yes, indeed. Yeah, that was my mother, that was my mother, Uncle. Okay, they got some big tombstones still out there for the Hurst. <laughs> yeah, me and, me and Uncle Han, well, I call him Uncle Han, mm. he used to put on pumps. Mm hmm. And I used to get a quarter. He had a pipe, and the pipe was split, and he had some way he could drive it down. And I sit there on something and hit and knock the dirt out with a hammer, bam, 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 like that. And mm -hmm. he'd give you a quarter. You think you had some? <laughs> you <laughs> you did. But they was all those were my people. Uh -huh. They were right off from the Dudleys. That's right. Yeah. That's right. The house was right next to the lane. Yeah, but uh -huh. right off from the Dudleys. He used sure to pump. Did. He had something he could let that. He had a pipe and had it split. Mm-hmm. And there's some way, like a big thing, and he'd lift that thing up and drive it down. And every time he'd drive it, I guess that much dirt would come up in that pipe. Mm -hmm. Then he'd knock it down. Sometimes he'd say, I smell the water. Uh -huh. like, you don't smell no water. Uh -huh. <laughs> Did they do witching out there? Too? Did who? Uh, the term witching to find water. 
I don't. You know what you know what that is. Yeah, there, there's some. He could he, he could say water him. I don't uh -huh. know what the name of the thing he was, uh -huh. but uh -huh. I used to be on there with him. You know. Uh -huh. And that was, that was a, 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 a cultural thing. Yeah, yeah. They go in that area and they could look and they have uh, two pieces of pipe or pipe, two whatever. Yeah. And if that pipe went but, down, yeah, that meant that there was water. Water there. there. Uh huh. And they used to do that. They would call on these men to come and do that. Yeah, well, I didn't know nothing about it. I was just riding on the way. I was looking for <laughs> for that quarter. <laughs> <laughs> but you, but that, that was part of what they were doing. Yeah, they, they probably sure were. But see, I, I was too young water. to know yeah, that. Yeah, you didn't know. understand it. It was Tommy, uh, Tommy Hurst, Johnny Hurst. There were a lot of them. One uh -huh. they called Uncle Han. Uh -huh. Hannibal Hurst. Yes. And his wife was named Laura Hurst. Uh-huh. These names really are coming back. Uh -huh. <laughs> They're coming back because we, we did the research on the families that had that worked on the Dudley Farm. farm. Dudley Farm. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, all I didn't know is this is it's some uh, Henry McCray's some of his people worked on it, well, but I forgot their name. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. And one of them uh, is the guy who used to fix all of his tractors, Dudley tractors. But mm -hmm. been a long time. I was small then, but. Uh, he married some of the McCree's family. I don't know what it was, but he married uh -huh. Dan Stokes' daughter. Oh, well, I know Dan. Yeah, about Dan about Stokes. Dan Stokes? I mean, yeah, I didn't know him, but I mean, I read his name many times in the literature. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah, I, mm -hmm. yeah, I remember Dan Stokes. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. mm -hmm. I knew a lot about Dan. I told my wife some stuff about Dan Stokes. <laughs> I ain't going to tell you about it. Mm -hmm. Well, let me ask you, too. Did you all wear a uniform or anything to identify you as a cab driver? No, you didn't have to wear a uniform. Mm -hmm. no. no special hat or anything. No hat. Well, and you, you didn't have to have a meter in your vehicle or anything? You had a meter. You yeah, had a meter. meter? We had a meter, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Uh, what we kind got, of cars got, did you drive? Huh? What kind of cars did you drive? I bought, always bought Chrysler's. I like the So Chrysler's. you like a big car, a heavy yeah, I don't car. Know, I want a car like a whole six people in. Yes, sir. Because when you go to that, when game time, mm -hmm. if, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, if there's six people come fly in on a plane, all six of them people they want to go together. Yes, yes. And men the whole they wire. Uh huh. Uh huh. And yeah. and, and pay for them. Mm -hmm. But uh -huh. black people won't do that. I ain't gonna hold my wife and pay for her too. Uh -huh. They well they wouldn't. They wouldn't. I'm telling you the truth. They wouldn't. Mm -hmm. But other people, white people, would hold their wife and pay and give you. I have had people try to take me to the game with them. I said, no, I can't go because they'll fire me. I was working for myself, I tell them, they'll mm -hmm. fire me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I said, mm -hmm. no, I can't go. I didn't want to go. I wanted to wait. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> but, Did you ever have any conflicts that you'd like to share in uh, your work? Any what? Did you ever have any conflicts, any business that was not good? Uh, anybody that, that caused That kind of you? you? Well, we talked about that. Yeah. yeah uh huh. Uh -huh. No. Um, any type of other conflicts other no. than robbery? Okay. No, I never had that. You're I always was getting along with people because if you yeah, didn't you have the very money, friendly too. if you didn't have the money, we would work it out. Mm -hmm. I say, uh, give me your social security card. Or something. <laughs> <laughs> give me your card. I got you. I, I give me. I don't say give me a ring because yeah, that might, might not be nothing. nothing I give me a social security card. I'm gonna lock it right here in this glove compartment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you don't pay me, I gotta pay. It's mm -hmm. a boy. Not to change the conversation. It's a boy came up there. He got off from work. And he comes running to the cab. They lived in Lachaway. Okay. You know, we used to play checkers. You didn't know about the cab now. We'd be playing checkers out front. Yeah, I've, I've seen the stand yeah. out there. And mm -hmm. so I got a checkerboard with my car out there now. Mm -hmm. And uh, he came running. He said, I need somebody to go to Lachaway. But I think he told me, he said, I ain't got but $12. And the guy said, I ain't going for no $12. I ain't going for no $12. So I walked outside. <clears throat> and the barber shop boy, he... He took the point at him and pointed at me. Them talk with him like that. Mm -hmm. I walked outside because I didn't want to say it in front of them. I took you for twelve. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So he told me, he come out. He said him. He said yeah. He said yeah. and he come. Out, he said I ain't got but twelve. I said, give me a twelve. I said I said when can you pay the rest? Mm -hmm. It wasn't but fifteen now. You know mm -hmm. when you pay. He said I get you. I get paid on just mm -hmm. like that. I said come on. I take you. I said, but somebody asked you what I took him to tell my kid to 15. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I took him a lot of way and came back, and them same guy was sitting there head and head out. <laughs> I done made 12 hours. No, and he's sitting right there. Uh -huh. And about, I guess a month or three weeks later on, the same guy come up there. He said, I want a cab to go to Lachery. And two or three of them jumped up. He said, no, I, he said, no, I want Nate. 
She go take, let you take it. <laughs> he said, I want Nate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he said, I want Nate. So I wasn't there. Mm -hmm. So he told her, our dispatcher was blind. He said, call Nate. Mm -hmm. He also called me. Now come here, guy. I'm going lost with the guy you took last week. Like that. Yeah. I said, I said, I'd be there about eight or ten minutes. And I got there. I took him on back and like, give me a good tip. Uh-huh. Because he appreciated it. Appreciate what I've done. But yes. everybody don't have the money. That's true. But some people will pay you. Mm -hmm. And some ain't going to pay you. Don't oh. have to, ain't, fight you to pay you. Mm -hmm. That's oh, right. Oh, that's way today. Yeah, that's still. They pay you still, still I still went to the store up there about a month ago. So, <laughs> I wait. Carry my knife or something in my pocket, you know, just mm -hmm. in case. I know you'll grab me. I can get him loose from me. <laughs> but boy, I just throw there, and I said, huh? So the guy said, uh, you got any loose change? I didn't say nothing. <laughs> I went on the store, and he asked me again, you got a loose change? I didn't say, he said, you could say something. I walked right on. I didn't say nothing. But I had my knife open. I was going to give him some loose change if he grabbed me. <laughs> them loose. They were getting mad like you own stuff. You don't own nothing. No, you don't. They're able to work. Able to, I worked all my life. Mm -hmm. Did you ever have problems getting your license to serve as a Never. cab? Uh-huh. So you didn't have I any accidents and all well, those issues to cause you a problem. Well, this year, my birthday was December 19th, mm -hmm. and uh, I probably wouldn't have got no license, but I heard it. I sit on my porch out there, and there's a pole out there. I couldn't see it out of my right eye, but I could see it out of my left eye. Mm -hmm. So I went to the VA and they gave me that um, laser? laser gun. Yes. And I told the doctor, I said, I'm going to have to get my license. He said, I'll fix it for you. He said, sign these papers. Mm -hmm. He said, sign them papers. And he said, I think it cost you $48, just like that. Mm -hmm. I said, I'll give it to my daughter and let her fix it. Yes. Got my license. But, but other than that, I wouldn't have got them. Uh -huh. Because I, could, I couldn't see what. I could see how to drive, but. Uh, my uh -huh. right eye was giving me a little problem. Yes. But now it's clear. I can see good now. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So I had to drive her everywhere she wanted to go. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's beautiful. <laughs> everywhere she wants to go. So uh -huh. it's, it's just enjoyable to do, be able to do that, you know, yes. at my age, you know. Absolutely. At my age. Did you have to carry people out of town other than Alachua County? Yeah, say Jacksonville. Maybe to Jacksonville or to Orlando. Orlando. My boys go to Orlando now, but it's twice the, it's, oh, they make some money for in Orlando now. Mm -hmm. We used mm -hmm. to take people to the airport like the weather was bad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They would call us because we had the contract with them, you know, and they were taking them down. Mm -hmm. So Jackson who else Hill. did you have contracts with? Did you have contracts with anyone else other than with the no, airport? No, just, just the airport. And uh, sometimes the VA would call us, yes, depending sir. upon the custom, mm -hmm. if he wanted you. Mm -hmm. Then I had a lot of connection with a lot of people working. Shans mm -hmm. would call me like that, call me on my something like that, we'll make the next like that. Mm -hmm. See, when you're nice to people, people don't forget that. Yes, that's mm -hmm. true. Mm -hmm. I to show my wife a boy, oh, that the other day to the store, his wife had had a baby and he didn't have no money to get home. And so I was dropping off there. Mm -hmm. The cab driver, you, and I backed up and he said, uh, maybe I shouldn't ask you, what you want? So I ain't got no money, I, I know they'd be big. He said, mm -hmm. no, he said, my wife just had a baby. Mm -hmm. And I don't have quite enough money to get home. Mm -hmm. It's like, yeah. I said, where you live at? You live right there on 15th Street, Southeast 15th okay, Street. Okay, yeah, no 15th. And he said, um, I don't get paid every two weeks. I went to university. Mm -hmm. I said, go get your wife and come on. And I was down at that little store. On, this is the turn to go on the Hawthorne Road there. I walked 15th Street. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he walked. I knew him, but he walked up to me with the girl that, that was the baby. Oh. <laughs> and she was, I think there was her 12th birthday. Uh -huh. And he Isn't told us something? He said he, <laughs> he, he the one. The story. He said he the one I was telling you about bought us home and I didn't have no money. And she said, you brought me home out of the baby. I said, you know me? I said, yeah, she grabbed me and hugged me. Okay. <laughs> that was so nice. It and is. Every it time is. I see her, she always waving, waving at me. At she always now, waving. where do you belong to church? Is it, um, huh? where do you belong to church? I go to my wife, Old Jerusalem. Out of Old, Old, <clears throat> oh, you out in Manioka? Yeah. But I was raised up in Pleasant Plain. Uh, uh, yeah. But since I got married, we all, I joined her church. Uh -huh. yeah. Old, Old Jerusalem. Uh -huh. Jerusalem. Missionary. Yes, I go out there. I, don't, I go to churches in the city. I do go to visit them, but that's great. My membership where I grew up, mm -hmm. at, about, I grew up like in the Brooker area. Okay. But then mm -hmm. I um, uh, joined the Baptist church because all my family was Baptist.
Mm -hmm. And I joined there, and I say it's just a hop and a jump out there. It so is. I uh, I go out there. I enjoy going. Out there. Uh huh. And so your husband goes and with he you. And joined later. Yes. Uh huh. And so both of us are member of that church now. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. And tell me a little bit about your children. Huh? You have tell me a little bit about your children. Your names of the children. Well, my and what are, are they doing? My older son, Nathaniel, he's Nat Junior. Yes. He's the one running the cab stand. Yes, uh -huh. he's the one that gave me your phone. Yeah, he's the one. He's the oldest. Mm -hmm. And my daughter, she Liddell. She, Liddell. Yes. She lives out here on out in Duval. She got three girls. Mm -hmm. One of them's a nurse at Shan. Mm -hmm. And the the oldest one is a what is a county, ain't it? At University of Florida, she's a county. Yeah. Huh? Uh, kind of one, and, and the youngest girl just finished uh, college. She's a policeman at the University of Florida. All right, I need their names. Okay, um, the oldest one is Keenan. Keenan. K E N A N. McGill. Uh huh. And the second one is Keevan. K what? Keevan. Keevan. K E V A N. Uh huh. Kenan was K-E-N-A-N. You got that? Yes, I have Kenan and Keevan. And Keevan. And her uh, name, Kayla. Uh -huh, I have it. And she, um, she Keevan is a nurse. Mm hmm. Uh huh. Okay. At, uh, uh, she's at Shans. She's at Shans. She's at Shans. Uh huh. Okay. Well, both of them work for a university. And Kayla is the youngest. K A L E N. E N. Okay, Kaylin, okay. And she is a policeman at the university. She just finished the police mechanic up there. Police. She's gonna be the policeman yeah. on the University of Florida That's campus. Daughter children. Uh -huh. You want the son children? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay. okay. all these are your daughters. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. My son is the oldest. His name is uh, Nathaniel Turner. Third. Junior. Third, you a junior. But uh, we call him Junior. He's, he's the third. So right. your father yeah, was, mm -hmm. yeah, okay, uh -huh. got it. Okay, so with Nathaniel Turner, mm -hmm. uh, the third. He has two girls. Two girls? Mm -hmm. He finished college, and I don't know what, what um, one of them is um, finished culinary school. Oh, yes. And mm -hmm. um, where is she, uh, doing, I mean, Nathaniel? He's in. Her, her name is, um, Lord, her name, what's her name? But oh, that's okay. We can come. One back. the oldest one named Natalie. Natalie. And the and set, okay, the other name we call her Lizard, don't it? Her name is Elizabeth. Elizabeth. And they are they are um. Natalie's uh, out here called Forty Third. She works in a doctor's office there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I, mm -hmm. think. Uh -huh. I think the address is because of you don't need to know that. Forty Four. No. Forty Four O Seven. Mm -hmm. I'm here called Forty Third. The next row to your left, you whip in there. Mm -hmm. She's a uh, she works in a doctor's office mm -hmm. there. Okay, that's Natalie. Huh? That's Natalie. Natalie. Mm -hmm. okay. That's the oldest one. And that's the oldest. Lizzie is the young one. She's and I then think, Elizabeth. You call her Lizzie. Lizzie, yeah. Uh -huh. She's the culinary. Okay, culinary. Yeah, she's up. No, she's over. I think. What doing? So four or five different schools. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's really. So they good. all got good jobs. Yes, yeah. yeah, she's a good so cook too. Oh, I know. <laughs> but see, you all have done very well in raising your children and making sure that they know the value of living and how to take care of themselves. So this is to be commended. And our youngest uh, son has a boy and a girl. And what's his name? And his name is Van Turner Senior. Van. Van Turrell. V A N. V A N. Yeah, V A N. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's Van, mm -hmm. and his name is Turner, Senior. Van T. Turner, his name is Terrell. And he's a senior? Oh, okay, because he's Van. He's Turner. Van. He yeah, I got it, son. I got it. He's the youngest. And he's the youngest, okay. Mm -hmm. And his, 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 uh, his daughter go to University of Virginia, and she'll be graduating next, next week, wasn't it? They both will be, yeah. No, oh. Van, the boy won't be graduating. She, she's a tennis player in Virginia. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. She said she's going pro. I hope she would. All oh, right. <laughs> University of Virginia, <laughs> I, she's the she daughter. Said, you know. mm -hmm. And her name uh, what, uh, is... Um, Kaya. 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 Kaya Turner. K? K-A-I-H. A-I-H. K-A-I-H. All right. Mm -hmm. And the, he got a son named Van Jr. Mm -hmm. 
And he's going to North Newton. Carolina. I don't know the name of his school, but this is his uh, first year North there. North Carolina in college. Yeah. But he, uh, mm -hmm. this is his third year because he went to school mm -hmm. two years in Ocala. Uh-huh. And he played basketball. He plays basketball. Oh. And he... And he, uh, and no, he is a tennis player. Yeah. Van played uh, basketball. He went two years at Ocala. And then... Uh, uh, huh? uh, that's all right. I'm, I'm, I'm with the, uh, the tennis player. She's keeping up with me. Uh, the tennis player out of the, the Van. No, no Van is, is, is the father. The father's name is Van Turner Senior. 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 And then the University of Virginia. You that's have the daughter. The daughter. Yeah. And that's K-A-I-H. It's her. Uh-huh. And then you got Van Junior. Van Junior. Yeah, North Carolina. He's in North Carolina, third year, mm -hmm. and yeah. he had done two years in Florida, and he yeah. plays mm -hmm. basketball. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got it. So they all doing good. I'm proud. Well, of all and of I'm that. very proud that you all have taken the time to let us come into your home mm -hmm. and talk with you this afternoon. Do you yeah. have others things uh, you'd like to mention? Uh, I did have one question uh, mm -hmm. before we started recording. You mentioned the names of the other safety cab drivers when you started. Oh yeah. Yeah. Could you could you repeat them again now that we're Let's recording see. or? One was George Walker, Simon Page. Simon Page, Sonny Boy Bell. I don't know if that's his real name or not, but I think it's Willie Bell. Okay. I think it's okay. Willie Bell and uh, mm -hmm. mm, let's, see more, let's see, Jesse McDonald. Mm -hmm. yeah, Jesse McDonald and uh, let's see, Ed McCree and Benny McCree. And, uh, Stafford, Stafford, Mr. Stafford, Stafford, Sap, yeah, Stafford, Sap, yeah. Okay. And, uh, oh, it was, but there was, a lot of them would come and go, they wouldn't stay. See, a lot mm -hmm. of guys, my brother had five cars once, you know. Okay. And he had, he didn't, he didn't have, he had guys drive for him, night and, you know, like that. But uh, some of them would come and stay and then, see, you can't trust everybody with your money. See, you, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. some of them ain't going to yeah. do right. What was your brother's yeah. name? E. Dale Turner. Edel. Yeah. Yeah. He, okay. he, he was staying too. in the corner house. If you come down 8th Avenue and turn, uh -huh. that corner house was here. My sister had that house. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. it's and so, uh -huh. we bought it from Mr. Green. Oh, okay. English Green, you uh -huh. heard of him? I He's from Jonesville. Yes, yes. He had a son named Oren Green. That's right. You know Oren? Yeah, Oren. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Oren Green. In fact, so one we, of the Greens uh, worked on the project with me. Well, they're from Jonesville. Yeah, yeah, yeah they were they're from, from Jonesville. Jonesville. Yeah, uh -huh. that's right. I didn't know too much about Mr. Green at that time, but he knew my parents and my daddy. Mm -hmm. He did. Well, you know, the building is named there, uh, the building down at uh, Jones at, uh, Pleasant Plains. The uh, utility, not the utility uh -huh. room, but the service building mm -hmm. is named for Green. It is. Yes. Uh -huh. well, one, excuse me. One of his brothers used to paint, I was a little boy, he used to paint Pleasant Plains. Mm -hmm. One of Mr. I believe his name was English. Angus, they had, they had Mr. Green's brother. He, he was a school teacher. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes, he, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I used to be down there with him. He'd have a rope, and he'd go up on that thing. And I said, he'd twist that thing around there, boy. <laughs> 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 well, now let me ask you, what would you like for us to remember? Huh? What would you like for us to remember about you and your wife here today? What would you like well, for us to Well, they've been married 60 years. That's, Good. that's, that's what, important. So. And what did you marry? Huh? Where? Where did you get married? Here in, in Jonesville or in Gainesville? No, we got married at the courthouse. All right. Mm -hmm. In Gainesville. In Gainesville, yeah. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And we've been. 60 she, years. She's been putting up with me ever since. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> <laughs> and what else? Well, would we've you been like putting Mrs. up with each other ever since, you know. Well, so. yes. Yeah. So, Mrs. Jones, I'm, would you I'm, like I'm, to have I'm glad to have her, you know. Oh, I know. You all, you all do quite well here. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad to have her. Actually, uh, really, we, you've had a good life, and um, he likes, he does not like to go out to eat, so I cook all the time, uh -huh. and uh, make sure that he have hot breakfast every morning, All right. and uh, cook dinner. Sometimes we go out, but not often. I see. And uh, he say I'm a good baker. I bet so. And I do a lot of baking for our church that we go out uh, to church in the old Jerusalem Missionary Baptist Church mm -hmm. in the rural area. Mm -hmm. And so I enjoy going there and I sing in the choir. Wonderful. And uh, I'm uh, the church's financial secretary. I pay oh. all their bills. You're busy. And uh, they keep <coughs> me busy and 
then I do a lot of making for the church. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. How about your travel? You want to... I do travel a lot because all of my siblings live in New York. Okay. And I, we travel a lot. Uh, in, the, in the United States and you're going out of the United States. You want to name a couple but of places? All my siblings was gone except for me and it was 11, uh, 11 of us. Uh -huh. And I just had a sister to die in January. I see. Uh, and I'm, I'm the seventh sister. My mother had seven girls mm -hmm. and uh, twin boys and then a girl. So it was eight, eight girls and two boys. Mm -hmm. And we went to school in Alachua. Okay. He was out in Brooklyn area, so we went to school yeah. there by bus. Uh -huh. And we farmed. We had a lot of hogs and cows. My sister used to milk the cow, and I tried milking them. I did pretty good with that. <laughs> My mother, she can, mm -hmm. and she always would, um, every morning before we go to school, and I will forget, she made sure that we had hot breakfast, and there were 10 of us. Mm -hmm. And um, when, uh, then after she uh, got breakfast finished, then she go to, the, she was a seamster. She go to the uh, machine and she sew. She made all of our clothes, even my, she made pants for my brothers. And then uh, she sewed for us and other people. They mm -hmm. would bring her material to the house so that uh, the children would, you know, during school time, but she <coughs> they get that material and she sold for everybody, mostly in the neighborhood. You know, they're bringing it, and I don't know how she did, but she did. And mm. I just was um, telling a thing, and not too long ago I said, I don't remember not one time that we went hungry. And we could go back f more than one time if we mm -hmm. wanted food to eat. Mm -hmm. And she did can and everything. And Beautiful. She was good parents, good mother. Good. Father, too. Well, we see the results. We and see the he, results. Um, she's, she was from um, Ridgeway, South Carolina. Ridgeway. And we still have family there in Ridgeway. Uh -huh. and, oh, Ridgeway. Uh, uh -huh. Ridgeway. Okay, got it. Uh -huh. And, mm -hmm. and um, my father was from Florida, and he mm -hmm. lived down, he lived in the, in the Alma Beach area. Okay. Down in Daytona. Daytona. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And so. all of my siblings went away. They, they, when they finished school, they lived in New York, and I was the only one that stayed in Florida. Hmm. Mm -hmm. And then my sister Irene came back, and she married a guy, and she was on 25th Street, and then the, a couple of others came back, and here in, in home. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, this is good. We, we had good parents, and we, we never wanted for anything, because she sold, and we always had plenty of food, because we farmed. What was your mother's name? Her name was Elizabeth Butler Ganey. Elizabeth Butler Ganey. Yeah, uh -huh. Everybody uh -huh. called her Eliza for short, but she mm -hmm. was from South Carolina. So she went to school and went to college there. Uh huh. Wonderful, wonderful. Last word. Is there anything you'd like to add? Anything you'd like to be remembered for? No, this is okay. I used to bake, though. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that is why you all too baking mm -hmm. in here. <laughs> yeah, I used to bake. I used to bake at home because. But she's a good cook. I don't need both of us cooking, is it? No, you used to bake. But I can cook. I have you offered some cake there if you want some. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. How nice of you. It's nice and fresh. I just made it this morning. Well, I will say I will take a piece. I make, excuse me, I make pecan pies mostly every Christmas. Oh, wow. Pecan pies, yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh -huh. Pe yeah. Uh -huh. She ordered pecans from some parts of Georgia, isn't it? Yeah. We get a large quantity of pecan and I make pecan pies. My barber, he gave me a pair of clippers. Every holiday, he looking for a pie. Well, that's <laughs> but that, my barber, I used to cut my hair, but that's my barber there now. He gave me a pair of clippers, and that's my barber. <laughs> I get a haircut every week. <laughs> I love it. I mean, you know, he does to let it grow out. So if I had to give him a style, then she always be. Well, I don't. The style is off. That's that's that. That's the style. I get it off. You go to the barber shop now. You got fifteen, twenty dollars. That's it. That's right. This is so yeah. true. Mm -hmm. I get a haircut every week. 
Well, we want to thank you for taking your time this afternoon to well, share thank some you of all the for history coming. Yeah, um, okay. and some of the good things that have happened on Fifth Avenue yeah. with the mm -hmm. cab service, some of yeah. the people that you serve, some yeah. of the places that you've had to uh, move to, and of course, mainly from mm -hmm. Jonesville to Gainesville. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, do you have other things that you would like to add? I, this has been a, yeah, a great interview. Thank you for yeah. For I went to a lot of places I, I would have never gone from if I hadn't been driving cab, you know, mm -hmm. <coughs> because I went to the VA one day. The dispatcher said, uh, I got a guy who wanted to get to the airport, but uh, the doctor said he got to talk to you first. So he couldn't, uh, he didn't want to get on no plane. I mean, mm -hmm. he wasn't able. And he wanted to go to Wichita, what's the name Kansas. of it? Wich Wich Wichita, Florida. Oh. You ever heard of that? That's beyond no. Tallahassee. Oh, okay. That's okay. around Phoenix Spring. Oh, okay. Close the to that area. Okay. Okay. So he wanted to go to the airport, but he was no no condition to fly. Mm -hmm. It's like that. Mm -hmm. And he said he wanted to talk to a driver. So I said, I don't know where that is. It's like, I didn't say nothing to him. Several, I think Joy said, I got a bad tire. I ain't... <laughs> You know, that, that's like that. And Sinclair, I say, I ain't got no bad time, but I ain't going. It's, it's <laughs> just like that. And I say, is this money right? I say like that. Mm -hmm. And he said, the guy asked him, said, who is that say is money? He heard me. Mm -hmm. And he said, tell him to come talk with me at the VA. <clears throat> so he, uh, I went on out there. I think his name was, I forgot what it was, but it's, I don't, I don't forget. Anyway, he said, I'd be sitting out front in a wheelchair. And I went out there and uh, I slowed up and the security guard said, come on, come on. And I wound my glass down. And I, I forgot. Anyway, I said, I'm supposed to speak to him. He said, hey, he's sitting out in that wheelchair. Mm -hmm. I said, can I park that? He said, you got five minutes to stand there and talk with him. It's like, yeah. And I got out and talked with him. I said, I'm from safety cab. And my understanding, you want somebody to take you to Wee Wall Hitchcock. I said, I'm not familiar with the Wee Wall, but I said, I know where Tal I've been to Tallahassee. Mm -hmm. Well, he said, um, you might not have to go to Tallahassee. If I can catch the bus, mm -hmm. if I can catch the bus, said, my wife is sick. She just had a baby, and she can't drive. I said, mm -hmm. I got to get home. And said, he said, I'll take care of you. I said, what do you mean, take How much, what, what you talking about? He said, <laughs> he said, I'll give you 150 for you in Tallahassee. It's like that. And so I, I said, 150. He said, I get 170. It's like that. I said, let's ride. <laughs> I told him. Like that. I said, so now I got to Tallahassee. I had a good car. I got, I drive. And I got to Tallahassee. He said, but when he said, first, with your front seat, go back where I can uh, relax. relax. I said, oh, you have to go all the way back to the back seat. So I let it, I pushed him around there and put him in there and got the seat back and got in. And he said, I need a cold soda. Well, I had left, and I stopped and got him up. He said, get me a big ball and some ice. So I got that and got that. And we got Tallahassee. He said, I want a ticket. The we were hit the, he, he, he said, y'all should have met the bus leaving. This, we met the bus, but I didn't know where the bus was. I just know the bus, you know. And I said, he said, it'll be tomorrow morning for the next bus leave. So I said, I said, you told me, Tally, I said, I done done my job. He said, yeah. He put his hand on my shoulder and said, I never hundred dollar sound. I said, what road we take? I said, I said, what road we take? I said, what road we take? Like, road we take? Like, so we went round down by the campus. And I, went, I got there. They was going to New York. It was going to New York. So I took him there. And I got there about, oh, yeah, about, I guess about 11. It wasn't 12 o'clock. Mm -hmm. It wasn't 11, 12 o'clock. And there's some guys there uh, doing something to some horses, I don't know. And he told him, say, one of the boys was named Henry. He said, get him a half a bushel of sweet potatoes and a gallon of that syrup. Oh. And I got that and come on back home. <laughs> wow. I, took, I took him order. And I had never been a week. I went so far because you go past Tallahassee and the time changed, the yes, river. Mm -hmm. I had never been across that river, mm -hmm. that the time changed. Mm -hmm. yeah, I went across that river, yeah. yeah. But I took him all the way up, man. He's a nice fella, too. I like that story. <laughs> you know, you meet some good and some bad. Uh -huh. Huh? I had nothing. I was 
and you meet some nice people, but in the meaning you meet some rough ones too, you know. Some, yeah. some out to get you if you ain't careful. Then. You got to right. keep your eyes on. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's much dangerous now than it was then. I believe it. Yeah, it's much dangerous mm -hmm. now because mm -hmm. you got so many drug people now, so many drug mm -hmm. people, mm -hmm. and them people do something to you. Yeah. You got to be on the ball with it. Mm -hmm. But right. just like I told him, I said, I'd rather go to 39th and go to Duncan. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm going to put something on. I, I watch every move you make, every move you make, mm -hmm. and you ain't going to get behind me. Mm -hmm. Well, you can catch me around in there. You don't get up front. Mm -hmm. no, you don't want to get in the, in the front? Don't get in. Mm -hmm. Just like that. Mm -hmm. Just like that. Mm -hmm. I want to live just, just, just like, like just like I see these police. They want to live too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they want to live just like you do. They got a family they want to go home to, you know? Yeah. But a lot of people say, you have to be careful. Because some people, I watched this story come on TV about the cops. Some people are rough. Some of them are rough. Mm -hmm. Now, he's speeding, and then he'll jump out of the car and run. Mm -hmm. And somebody be shooting back at me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I said, I wouldn't want to be a police. Mm -hmm. I'm just so glad my granddaughters don't be a police on campus. Mm -hmm. I don't believe it's quite as dangerous, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. out in the street, there ain't nothing to play with. No, it's not. It's serious. There ain't nothing to play with. Mm -hmm. That's like I told you, you better learn how to shoot a gun. If a joker break in here, you gotta catch that door. No, yeah, but you, you, I said, if he break in here, somebody had to come get him. <laughs> but okay. serious time. if he got nerve enough to break in here, he got nerve enough to hurt you. That's right. what I said. That's what I feel. Mm -hmm. You're right. right. I hope not. Well, we hope not for goodness it's sake. It's else. But you know, it's, it's pretty rough now. Well, you understand what's going on out here. Yeah. Well, well I'm so thank glad you so much came. for your mm -hmm. time. The time is 3.20. PM. I may be a few minutes fast, maybe 3.15, 3. And the date is the 6th of uh, May. And the day of the week is Tuesday. Is Monday. 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 Don't mm -hmm. let me back that up. The day is Monday. Monday, yes. And we're closing out our interview. Thank you. Well, thank you so thank much you. for coming. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed y'all. So.